General. Now, Speaker Paul Ryan at the GOP retreat in West Virginia defending the potential release of that secret House intel memo. It's overshadowing the Republican agenda as they gather to plan their path for 2018. Joining me now from the retreat is Georgia Congressman Carter. Congressman, good to see you as always. Uh, I, I was pleased to see that uh, you tweeted yesterday that you and your wife, your wife was joining you as many people's spouses do to this event, and that uh, you were okay. But boy, what a tragic day. I tell you, it was a harrowing experience, and uh, you know our thoughts and our prayers are with the victim and the victim's families, as well as those who are still hospitalized. But it was quite a harrowing experience. Well, I'm, I'm I'm glad that it wasn't worse than it was. Our prayers are uh, with the family yes. who has lost someone. Uh, Congressman, let's talk about uh, what's going on uh, in in West Virginia. But actually, let's talk more about the memo. Uh, you tweeted the other day uh, last week. I read the classified memo from House Intel Committee, which outlines uh, shocking surveillance mm -hmm. abuses. I have requested the immediate release of the document uh, because the American people need to be able to read it as well. Hashtag release the memo. Um, Congressman, w are you concerned that the FBI and the Justice Department have said that there's, there's some danger in releasing this memo and it's not really a, a complete picture? I am not concerned. I do think the memo needs to be released. I did have the opportunity to read it, and I will tell you, there was more than just one wow moment for me after reading it. And I think the, the public, the American public, deserves to see it and deserves to see what's in it. The problem being that uh, the FBI says it's incomplete. It doesn't tell the full story. Well, if that is the case, which, you know, I question, uh, it's complete in the sense of what it is trying to entail and, and the story that it's trying to tell. But at the same time, the FBI has still got to go through with their investigation, so they'll have the opportunity to, to fulfill this. I know you can't tell me what's in it, but, but what's the story? Because the story it could, could be one of two things. One is the FBI is, is partisan and biased and, 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 and out to get the president, or the FBI bungled something. What's, what's the story? Well, I, you know, again, broadly as speaking, you noted, I, I can't really, <laughs> right. Well, broadly speaking, I think it, it, it it's a story about specifically those who were involved in the investigation, and, and that's what's so disturbing. All right. What do you, what, what's your concern? Do you share the concern that some Americans have that this is going to undermine the FBI in a way that the FBI can't fight back on? Because in order to address this, there's more classified information that can't come out. So uh, it sort of backs the FBI and the Justice Department into a corner. I mean, are you worried about the collateral damage done to the FBI in the eyes of the public? Well, to, to a certain extent, perhaps, but at the same time, listen, the American public, they're not, they're not stupid. They can, they, they, they're able to, to recognize when, when there's a wrong that has been done, and I think once they read this memo, then they'll use their best judgment to, to come to a conclusion that, hey, there were some problems here. Right. Do the problems, uh, if, if Americans see this memo and they come to that conclusion that there were some problems, does, that di does this take away from the the concern that Americans should have, including you, because you're up for uh, election uh, this year, uh, that the, the, the Russians continue to interfere with our, our democ democratic processes. Listen, I don't think there's anyone who doubts that. I mean, I think that, you know, that crosses partisan lines. We all recognize and understand that the Russians are trying to meddle in our elections. And, and, and this memo is not going to change that at all. Congressman, always good to talk to you. Thank you for your time. Congressman Buddy Carter of Georgia. We're going to take a quick break.